When I run, I feel free. My mind goes blank. I just listen to the sound of the gun. I'm staring at the ground, hoping that I get a good reaction time and I don't fall start. I don't even know how quick I can go. I just think that it'll be pretty low. Like my fastest time ever, it'll be low. This 16 year old American sprinter looks set to become one of the biggest names in athletics. My name is Candace Hill. You don't know me yet, but you soon will. Candace Hill is the fastest female high school athlete of all time, with world youth records of 10.98 seconds in the 100 meters and 22.43 seconds in the 200. Her PB in the 100 would have seen her qualify for the Olympic final in London in 2012, while she would have clinched a silver medal in Beijing. Her long strides, lightning pace and bubbly personality have already seen her draw comparisons with the likes of Usain Bolt, but she's well aware that she has a long way to go just yet. People say I look like as a gazelle when I run. They say I run effortlessly because it looks like I'm just striding when really I'm actually running. <laughs> my race, not perfect, even 1098. My coach said my start wasn't as good as it could be. It motivates me to just work harder because you're already there. You're like, you can see those times and that motivates me to work harder at practice so that I can reach those times and possibly beat those times. Candice trains in Conyers, Georgia, around a half hour's drive from the host city of the 1996 Olympics, Atlanta. Earlier this year, she signed a 10-year endorsement deal with ASICS, becoming the youngest US athlete to turn professional. She's coached by American Tony Carpenter, who's worked with the likes of seven-time Olympic medalist Veronica Campbell-Brown and the NFL's Odell Beckham. He's been providing sprint training for over three decades, yet he is amazed by what Candace has already achieved. Well, it's never been done before, right? So 1098 um, at the age of 16 is extremely impressive. I think the most important thing for her going to the next level is really on the mental side. Uh, there are plenty of athletes that are physically uh, gifted. Uh, I think that mental side is what distinguishes, you know, an average athlete from a great athlete. And I think in that regard, uh, she's solid. You know, I believe that that's one of her strong suits is just her mental approach to things and her confidence and belief in her own abilities. Candace is a fiercely determined girl both on and off the track. She attends Rockdale County High School where she's one of the highest performing students. Her favorite subject is chemistry. She also partakes in several extracurricular activities including public speaking. When I was little, I would always want to have all A's. Ever since kindergarten, I had all A's on every report card. And I feel like academics is really important because athletics is only for so long, but academics can take you farther. Doing good in school also motivates me to do good in track because all the stress built up in school, I want to take it out on track. And so I try hard in both areas so I can be the best I can be. Candace announced herself at the Brooks PR Invitational in June last year, when she became the first high school student ever to break 11 seconds in the 100 meters. She proved it was no fluke at the IAAF World Youth Championships in Cali, Colombia, a month later. In her debut international meet, she fended off strong competition to clinch both the 100 and 200 meters gold medals in championship record times. In so doing, she became only the second female athlete ever to sweep both sprint events at the World Youth Championships, emulating Great Britain's Jody Williams. I was extremely nervous because I was running against the greatest in the world, and I'm used to running against people in my region or in my country, so that was a new experience for me. And then when I 
won those two gold medals and broke the World Youth Best in the 200, I cried. I really cried after my 100. I was like, wow, I'm a real world champion. I did it, like I made it. This was my goal for the season and I accomplished that. Over the years, Transworld Sport has filmed with some of the best sprinters in the world when they were just teenagers. And two of them happen to be Candace's sporting heroes, Usain Bolt and Alison Felix. Between them, they've amassed 12 Olympic and 26 World Championship medals. Last year, Candace plucked up the courage to ask Usain Bolt for a photo at a meet in New York, while she's been in contact with Alison Felix and some of the sport's other big names on social media. I feel like she's one of the top sprinters ever in the history of female sprinting, and I just want to be like her. And I look up to these people, so it's like really, really great when they mention me or when they say congrats or good luck. And I have to retweet it and be like, oh my God, they, d and then I contact all my friends and they're like, I'm so jealous. You met Usain Bolt, Allison Felix, you met the greatest sprinters and yeah, it's really great. Away from the sport, Candice enjoys hanging out with her friends, Jay. family, and pet dog, Cotton. Jay. Jay. In July, she'll attend the Jay. US Olympic team trials in <laughs> Eugene Jay. in a bid to be selected for Rio. While her times would suggest she's ready for the major championships now, both Candice and her coach have eyes on the future, on progressing gradually and perhaps winning a medal or two at some stage in her career. I just want to keep on lowering my times, do my best, break a couple records, but I want to make the Olympic team and possibly win an Olympic gold medal. It doesn't matter which Olympics, but hopefully I do that before I stop running. I think she's an extremely special athlete and if we continue to be patient with her and allow her to develop at her own natural pace, I think Candace Hill has the potential to be the greatest female sprinter uh, ever, period. 10 years from now, I want to be the person that everyone looks up to and everyone's just like, I want to be like Candace Hill. I want to do the things that she does because she's so humble, she's so hardworking. 10 years, I'd like to sit back and reflect on, you know, the world championships and Olympic titles that she's been able to uh, garner during that time. Um, and also, you know, someone who's been, you know, contributed to the sport of track and field. You know, someone who's represented her country and kind of put it back on the map for being, you know, a powerhouse in the sprints. Um, you know, that's what I would see in, you know, 10, 15 years from now. I want them to think of, oh, she's a kind and humble, sweet girl. And um, you never know what to expect because she'll blow your mind when you watch her run.